Good morning! I think today is going to be a really interesting day and I'm going to videotape it. Hello from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where I'm visiting my alma mater, Wake Forest University. This is the hotel they set me up at called Graylin, a huge castle-like building where I had breakfast. I gotta film this breakfast and show you. I got a delicious omelet from the super cool chef guy. Then we drove onto campus and I got all these feelings of nostalgia. The library where I used to work as a student and the most picturesque building, that's Waite Chapel, but my meetings are in here in Ronaldo Hall. So let's go in. I had a meeting with the scholarship coordinator who helped me get a scholarship, Dr. Tom Phillips from Wake Forest Scholars. His office is incredible. Look at these pieces all over his office. It's like a little museum, things from Vienna where he loves, here he is. Hello, I'm here with Dr. Tom Phillips, who has the coolest office on all of campus. He helped me with my scholarship when I was a student here. It was a labor of love, of course, Nick Gray being the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Next meeting was the main event. This is why I came to Wake Forest. All right, I'm here with Dan, who's in charge of the center. Dan, where are we at? We're at Wake Forest Center for Entrepreneurship. Dan invited me to speak to his class and work with some of his students to give them feedback on their business ideas. So here I am getting ready to go up. Dan's introducing me and then I made my regular speech. It was awesome. A quick survey. Just talked. How did my speech go? Very well. It was a lot of fun. Awesome. Enjoyed it as always. Thank you much. Dan, uh, how'd it go? Awesome. Great time. Yes. Learned a lot. I really loved meeting all these students and hearing their business ideas and talking to them in the hallways between classes. By far the most engaging speaker and it put me in a great mood for the whole rest of the day. Thank, Thank you. you. High five. <laughs> High five. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Professor Jen Nick this is a Gray. Good one. Why, why do you think this is a good one? I think this is Professor a Nick Gray. What? I think this is a ter- Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's a great one. <laughs> We had a lot of fun, and then afterwards we filmed some videos outside. Good morning, I'm filming here. This is Jen from the Center for Entrepreneurship, and this is Hayden, and we're gonna film this beautiful Waite Chapel right behind me. Wow. I graduated in 2004, and to be back on a campus with college students to see how much my school had grown, it was awesome. This is Dr. Paige West. He was the entrepreneurship guy when I was in school there, and it was neat to catch up with him and think about how he supported me. I got invited to swing by the Scales Fine Arts Center by these great people to see their gallery that they had on campus. Quick status updates about 3.30 p.m. I'm going to the Renolda House now. I love being on campus. This is the Renolda House, right here, this beautiful house built in the 1920s and 30s that was originally created by the founder of R.J. Reynolds Tobacco. It's an excellent, I just love this house. Look, here is R.J. Reynolds, and really though, it was his wife, Catherine Smith Reynolds, who started the whole place. Fun fact, I'm at the Renolda House. This is Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi. And what is one fun fact that everyone should know about Catherine Smith Reynolds and R.J. Reynolds, founders of the Renolda House. One fun fact is that when they were courting, uh, R.J. Reynolds would bring Catherine Reynolds fresh milk. Fresh milk? Yes. Not fresh eggs, not fresh flowers. Nope, fresh milk. Fresh milk, cool. New Renolda House app launches. That's right, when? June 2nd, 2018. You'll have new stories, new ways to experience this place called Renolda. Sarah and the team at Renolda House have been a big supporter of Museum Hack since the early days. Thank you very much. After that, I walked up to the Wake Forest University campus and I met up with a comedy troupe, the Lilting Banshees, who let me help run uh, an improv game to start their meeting. One, white, two, green, five, these are five things. <laughs> the Lilton Banshees are a sketch comedy troupe at Wake Forest University, and I was a member. They let me actually come to one of their writing meetings, and I got to be a part of a writing group and listen to them do live readings. It was so much fun. Look how much fun they're having. I <laughs> Don't run it. Not in it. Not in it. I was reminded how it feels to be part of a creative group on a college campus. My God. I'm back in my hotel room now. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I had such a great day at Wake Forest University. Thanks everybody for having me.